All right, so now I have my image cut out and I have, as you can tell, the background is off. And then you're gonna wanna check your image for any tracing elements by clicking the select tool. Um, you'll know that there might be thin lines or such if, they're, if these lines are not touching at all. So let's say this one is way out here, that means there's something that's out here that you would want to erase. And if you can't see it, you can go here and then have the background a different color. If that doesn't work or your eyes aren't good, you can select the image and then pull it off until you get it close or halfway or whatever. And you'll pull it off like that. Not the image, but just like, let's say there was something right here. I would pull it to like right there so it would be hanging off the lip. And then that will automatically cut it as long as you click the select tool, it automatically cut it back to it. Um, anyways, we've learned how to cut now from pulling it from doing the cut tool with the automatic that would show up there and the manually erasing. Now we're gonna learn how to add a border to this image. So the first thing you're gonna do is make sure the image is selected. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna slide to the left and click duplicate. Now with this one here, I'll go to the magic wand tool. We'll go to hue, saturation, brightness of the layer. And down here you have saturation. So no color if you pull it down. I'm gonna put a black border on it. So I'm gonna pull that all the way down. Now we have a black silhouette. And then you'll go back to this magic wand tool and you're gonna do Gaussian blur of that layer. And once you have that pulled up, you're gonna to slide to adjust. I usually do around 4% tops, 4%. And kind of see that black line come in okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click the select tool three fingers down duplicate you can keep doing this duplicate or you can go here slide to the left it's just a preference do this about six to seven times now you have all these what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze these together now they're one layer and now you have a nice solid line around there. And you can check by having a background. Let's put it on a white. There's a little bit of fuzz, so usually what you can do at this point is go back to this layer, click this, magic wand, Gaussian blur of the layer, and go maybe, uh, let's go with about 2% and then do the same process. So now I'm going to duplicate, see? And then let's do it again. Okay, see how it didn't change on that last one? That means it's done. Can't go anymore. I merged them all down. There's gonna be a little slight feathering, but not much, and now you have outline and if you want a different color all you would have to do is click this layer and then drag the color you want in there um, or if you want a white usually people either want a white or a black um, lining so you could just click the image invert and now it's white so we can see that by taking the background away and if we wanted to see what it would look like on a background of black this is what it would look like um, when you save it, make sure that you save with the wrench tool and then share PNG, always PNG if you don't want a background. Always make sure the background is off, that way you don't have to redo your work. If you save it like this with this background on, you're going to have to redo this altogether. Because if you had a white background, it wouldn't show up. And... Also, make sure your layers are selected. You need these boxes selected, otherwise they go away. And if you just want this silhouette to save for later, there's two ways you can do it. You can either deselect this and then wrench tool share PNG or PNG files. PNG files will save each layer, um, 
once again, make sure your background's off, but if you go this way and you go share PNG files, save two images. Also, if you just want this image as a whole, then you would just go to the wrench and save a PNG. And finally, if you want to, you can merge these layers. If you're working on a bigger canvas, like 54 inches by 54 inches, you will want to do this that because you are limited to four layers, but you just click the layer here and then all you're gonna do is go to merge down and now it's one layer. But make sure you save your, your layers first before you do this, just in case you need to change something. Two fingers back, undoes the merge, and now I'm gonna work with this image.